to complete the development of this hopper, your first step is to go and divide the circle that's over there into 12 parts using your 30 and 60 degree set square. Once you have that circle divided up into 12 equal parts, you then take each of those equal parts and project them to the corner, the base corner, which is closest to each of those parts. So that point over there will be projected to two different corners. It will be projected to this corner and that corner. That point is closest to the space point. So we join those two up. That point is closest to this one, so we join those two up. And then the, this point again gets joined to that point and this one. This, of course, goes and creates the triangulation that you need to be able to complete the development of a curved surface. Any surface on a hopper can only be can only be developed using triangles. So we are creating all the triangles that we need to be able to go and develop a curved surface. So you should have that. Now, each of those lines that you've now drawn, you now have to go and find the true length of. So the first thing to do is to go and determine which of those lines are the same length. So by measuring, we can see that these two lines here are going to be the same length. So I'm going to mark those two with a circle. And if you check the lines on this side, you'll see that these two lines are also the same length. So I'm going to mark those with a circle as well. Then this, this line over here is the same length as that one, and is also the same length as that one, and that one. I'm going to mark those with a single line. This line over here is the same length as that one, and the same length as that one, and the same length as that one. Use a triangle. And then this one over here is the same length as that line, which is the same length as that line, and the same length as that line. That will be common when you have a rectangular base and a circular top, or in this case you have a circular base and a rectangular top because your front view is flipped around. And if that base is centered, then you're always going to have a number of lines which are going to be the same length. Now the last line that you're also going to have to find the true length of is going to be your seam, okay, which is located over there. They've told us there that that's the seam, the line that we're going to cut down to start the development which we're going to draw out on the side. So the first step now for going and finding our true lengths is to go and label our entire drawing. I'm going to use letters for the top and I'm going to transfer those letters that numbering from here into my front view and then on my circle parts I'm going to use the numbers 1 to 12 
Okay, so that you have that. Now I need to go and find the two lengths of each of these lines. Okay, and I'm going to use my compass to help me with that. So I'm going to take my compass. I'm going to start by working on this bottom corner over here. And I am going to place my compass point on point B. And I'm going to open it up to point 4. And I'm going to draw an arc. Then I'm going to take the arc and I'm going to project the tangent of that arc straight up into my front view. And because we are projecting a point there on the base, point 4, I am going to draw a line which then would connect the base of my front view to the line I've projected up. And I can make a marker there. That point I then need to go and join up to the point that I had my compass point on. So originally I had my compass point placed on point B and I had the pencil part placed on point 4. So point B, which is here in my top view, is now the point that I am going to join that projected point to. That is now the true length of line B4, which I mark with a circle. So I'm going to mark this one with a circle as well. Then I just keep repeating the same process. Give my compass on point B. I'm going to open it up to point 5. Again, make an arc. Okay, and then again, project that up into my front view. Again, I've projected a base point, so I'm going to take that in line with the base, that intersection point, mark that, and join it up again to the place where I put my compass point, which is on B. So I'm going to again join that up to point B. And that was <clears throat> that was a line B5 marked with a single line there. So I'm going to mark it with a single line there. And repeat. For line B6, <clears throat> I'm going to arc that. <clears throat> repeat the same process. I'm going to project that up. And again, I'm going to join that to point B because my compass point was again on point B. Okay, and that line I am then going to mark with a triangle. Now, this last one over here marked at point 2. I'm now going to go and change where I'm doing my two lengths because at the moment this is getting a bit messy. I've got a whole bunch of lines which are on top of each other. So instead of going to go and do the two length of B7, I'm going to rather go and do the two length of A7. So that I can try and keep all my tree links from being on top of each other. So the same process there. Place compass point on point A in this case and open it up to point 7. And we've got to be as accurate as possible. So there we go. Okay, we go and project that arc around. And again, go and project that point on the edge of that arc straight up into my front view and because we again have projected a base point we are going to join that to a line extended from the base and that point we're going to join to point A in the front view because that is where I put my compass point and that is now going to be the true length of line A7 marked with two lines so I'm going to mark that with two lines. Okay, that was slightly off screen. Let's just get that on screen there. Okay, now, once we've got those two lengths, we still need to get the two length of our seam. Just sitting down there. So again, compass point. I'm going to use put compass point in a baseline. 
and I'm going to project the top point. Okay. okay. Again, you must make sure that your projections are accurate. So I'm going to project that down, and then project the edge of that arc up. <coughs> now I've gone and projected a point here, which is on the top edge. Okay, so you're going to have to go and mark the point which touches the top edge in the front view. And then I place my compass point at point 1, which I have to find in my front view. So I'm going to project point 1 onto my front view, so that I know my point 1 would be situated there. And I'm going to join those two lines. So my point that I projected was that point there, which was on the top edge. Okay, so that was projected up to the top edge. And then that point one is on the base. So I've projected that to the base and joined those up. That's now my seams to length. Okay. Now, once you've got all of your two links, now we're going to be ready to go and do the development. Please watch the next video for the development.